My favorite platform Who you fighter, man. Who you play, Master man? Ruby. Master, of course you yeah, do. Of course, of course you do. It's Martha Meta and yeah. I put together, man. Dude, like, I play the whale or the fish. I forget his name. Oh, uh, Fish Mungeon? Yeah, Fish Mungeon. Oh, yeah. God, I love that guy. Okay, right, let's here jump we go. into this. This is not wow. Slap City. Whoa, whoa. Is this Smash 4? Rosalina and Corin from DeBuzz Wait. and Cosmos. What is going on here? Corin? Yeah, I mean, this character, she's a little bit better than you might give her credit for. Yeah. She did receive some improvements in the last patch, too. She's able to get back to the stage now? Uh, it's the same. The, the up oh. is the same. Oh, yeah, Pretty yeah, sure, yeah. It just uh, links together better, I believe. Mm, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So we got that pin. You see him going off to the back here. But again, with the Luma, you know, really easy to get killed, especially in the likes of doubles, when there's just going to be a lot of active hitboxes all over the place. Wow. Cosmos drop back air from the ledge. You're just right in Wadi's face. to clean the first stock up. But Mr. Hart's barely been touched at yeah. all. This guy is the healthiest player on the screen by a large margin. He's playing extremely safe here. He's you know, trying to space out his aerials. And here come the team combos, trying to get the tech with the up air. But good punish from Wadi, taking away Rosalina's first stock of the buzz. Yeah, not going to let him hit his partner at all. Mr. R, he can just play a bait right now. He can run in, make it look like hitting him is a good idea. And then we have Wadi waiting in the wings either to throw a projectile or just run up and hit one of the red team members. And I, I like that little team conversion that just came from Mr. R and Wadi, right? You saw Mr. R trying to get those combos going, and the second he saw Wadi was in position, he relented and let Wadi, you know, finish off the combo. It's always fun, like, seeing when the people are, like, in sync like that. Okay, dash attack trying to get that grab. But the thing is, with Korn's throws, that's kind of hard to interrupt. Oh, wait, what? How did that set up that way? I've seen that happen before with Wii Fits forward smash. Very unorthodox angles coming out It's sometimes. a strange smash attack, man. Because it, like, hits behind her. Yeah, and I think that was the front hit anyway, but hey man, yeah. don't have time to think about all that. Right now, it's looking like Cosmos and Mr. R competing for who's going to hang on the longest. You saw Wadi trying to get that spike against Rosalina offstage with the uh, header. I see a little bit of bowling going against Cosmos. If there's anyone who should know how to deal with Wii Fit Trainer, it's going to be the buzz. Yeah. Of course, he's played John Numbers so many times. So many times. This is not the same Wii Fit Trainer, though. Different no, play not style. at all. Like, Wadi plays aggressive. Definitely compared to John, yeah. yeah. Patient but aggressive. Mm. Oh, we see Mr. R dropping a, a chance to kill Luma. Okay, he's going to do it right there. Now she's out of there for at least the next few seconds. That was super scary. He got knocked into the soaring slash. Good use of the up air to get Krom off of him. Cosmo's going to get back onto the stage. Now he knows he's throwing out Luma, just throwing out these up smashes, gets yet another kill, catches Wadi jumping. And everyone's like pretty hurt, hurting pretty bad right now, except for Mr. R who still has all three stocks. At 162%. Ooh, that pressure from Cosmos landed with a safe neutral there and then did an empty full hop. Picks up the grab on the way down. It's actually the throw hitbox that KOs right there. Yeah, kill, not killing the unintended opponent, too. Just start trying to go for the punish. Seeing this little scramble between Mr. R and Cosmos. Finally, going to be Cosmos breaking the ice there. Picking up some of that rapid jab. So I'm going to start trying to decide who he wanted to go for, right or left. Let's go for Cosmos. The thing is, Luma's kind of doing a little bit of damage there. That's going to be Cosmos getting the kill. That's going to be really good for Rosalina, right? Going to be able to just uh, su uh, suck in the uh, soccer balls. Here we see it coming from Wadi. Yep, and the Suns, too. Yeah. So this is not a favorable matchup for Wii Fit mm. Trainer from far away. Up for, close, yeah. it could change up a little bit. Of course, oh, her normals, his normals are a bit better in this game compared to Smash 4, but that remains yeah. to be seen. He's able to crack through the defense of Luma and Korn's Giant Sword. Got some very quick attacks out here. This is looking super even. Wadi's got to hang in there. Off the soccer ball, you see Cosmos trying to get these back here. It's very reminiscent of Smash 4 days. When I was, uh, those dragon wings. Forward tilt just to get Luma off of him. Oh. Very greedy forward tilt coming out from Mr. R. Got a big punish coming out from DeBuzz. That's going to be uh, Cosmos falling off as well. You see Wadi trying to get back on the stage. Good recovery. You saw him drift away from right. DeBuzz. And that actually gave him a pretty unfavorable angle. He landed on the stage. Didn't have to deal with the lead trap, fortunately, but Cosmo's just going to be able to keep him in the corner, wipe him out, and what was once an even game is now a 2v1. So DeBuzz being at a high percent, not all that big of a deal. He's just able to hang back behind Cosmos, take these opportune hits. Now, if any character can bring this back, it's certainly Krom. He just needs one clean hit on Rosa to turn this into an even game. But you know, like you said, he's chilling backwards. Cosmos is playing uh, like defense right now. You can tell Mr. R is gunning for DeBuzz right now. Yeah. He's not going to let that happen. Good parry into the grab. A little bit of miscommunication there. Yeah, up smash probably would have done the job, yep. but it doesn't matter. Got some frame traps from Cosmos. Closes it out with the back air, and that's going to put them at the game one lead. Man, Mr. R and Wadi, they look pretty good at the beginning of the day, but 
Cosmos and DeBuzz, very strong team in their own right, so I'm not too surprised to see them taking the lead here. Yep. And that 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 uh, last throw that Cosmos decided to go for when he opted to go for the fourth throw, I agree with that because it's Krom. You want to get him off stage. He, that's where he suffers a lot. So even though the up smash probably would have got the kill, still managed to just wrap it up. But one thing I do want to highlight is that Mr. R survived for so long in that beginning. And I think that's what helped their team out a lot. Because I, I saw Wadi dying pretty early at some points. So we'll see if Wadi can try to like bring it back, maybe play a little bit more defensive here. Because I felt like maybe maybe it's Mr. R that needs to like go in there and play Gorilla and just like mash those buttons. Yeah, I think that's the play that they should be looking for, right? Have the projectile guys sit back. Mm -hmm. Have the sword guy do the rushing in. Right. Pretty good. Give Kong a projectile, overall. man. Let's let him throw a sword. Man. No, <laughs> I don't think we need to do that. I don't think that's the play. But hey, you know, if you want to give Lucina a projectile, what's the play? Give Lucina. <laughs> it's just like Link's forward smash. You know, you just uh, at zero. Just at zero. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. at zero. Give Kong the projectile. That's fine. Just make it so good that I'll stay at zero the whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It rewards you for not getting hit. So we're going to jump into this next game here. Same characters, different feel. Yeah, do you, did you manage to see where they picked? No, I didn't. Always throws me off that even still, you know, six months in, the, the stage pick comes first. I know. I'm always waiting. For, all right, yeah, so it is going to yeah. be the same stage here on Pokemon Stadium 2. When I'm playing, I'm used to it. But when I'm watching, I'm just like, okay, yeah, here comes the stage pick afterwards, and then the game started. Right. And it's like, oh, man, I'm supposed to know about this. Yeah, I'm supposed to know. <laughs> we should have should have been paying attention. But here we go. PS2 for game number two. Let's see if Wadi and Mr. R can try to bring this back. But very shocking to see Cosmos and DeBuzz taking away game one with their old characters, Rosalina and Corrin. Yeah, I think that's the most impressive thing here, right? If you showed me Inkling and Olimar, I'd have no trouble believing it. But yeah. Rosa and Corrin, it's showing that they've still got some strength. They still know all the good stuff that these characters had in the last game, and they're able to adjust to some of the new good things they have in this game and some of the new bad things they have, too. And especially the likes of Rosalina, who's been notorious for not being that good at doubles because of the, the way it's very, extremely hard to control Luma with so much going on. She just gets whacked by everything. Oh, the Buzz fighting off that pressure with the rising up air. Very reminiscent of what we saw in the last game. Yeah, Wadi was looking for a spike, playing super patient, jumping over the Luma. Tried to go for the, he was completely vulnerable upon re-grabbing onto that ledge, but you see Lu he's doing a fantastic job of controlling Luma and forcing Wadi to pay attention to both of them in this, like, it's like a 3v1 almost for a second. Yeah, I, I mean, Luma being there, that's 3v2 yeah. for the whole game. Yeah. Trying to catch these up smashes again. Good parry, but that's going to be Corrin taking away that first stock from Mr. R. Cosmos putting in, put, bringing in the heat. All right. Oh, deep breathing active, and with a decent amount of rage on Wadi, he's going to be hitting really hard, but fortunately for the red team, none of them are at too high of a percent. I don't think they're in any danger of losing a stock here. Wow, the sun salutation just riding through the stage. It's I like have never shark. seen that. That was so cool. Yeah, you have to hit, shoot it at like a perfect altitude to see that happen. Otherwise, it'll just cl uh, crash into the wall. I'm not sure that Wadi's practice that sun salutation. That's a really hard to time. There we go. Oh, that's going to be a second stock coming from Mr. R. I feel like the tables have turned for the team. Like, you, it was Mr. R that was surviving. Now it's Wadi. You know, they're taking their, their, their new team strategy to heart. Still four stocks apiece, so it's just that Wadi's bleeding. Yeah, this is looking a little bit more convincing than game one was too, man. It was so close all throughout, but right now Cosmos is the buzz. Oh, never mind. He just got dragged off the stage by <laughs> Crumbs up B. There you go. I mean, if you're DIing in on the very start of that, it's over. Yeah. Like, so if you like go in there with an aggressive option and then he catches the up B, like yeah. you'll die. Exactly. Super unfortunate, but hey, man, those are the ropes. Crumb with a somewhat underwhelming recovery. Not the best, not the worst in the game, but. At least there is a price to pay for trying to hedge guard it haphazardly. There we go, getting the combo. That was a good team combo for coming from Blue Team. That's exactly what they need to steal stage control. Gets the kill on Wadi. Mr. R getting the punish right afterwards to push him back off stage. They still remain in stage control, even though they lost a teammate in the middle of that like exchange. Go with the, the air. And air. Yeah, going to go through that parry. DeBuzz not ready for it. We've got an attempt at coverage there by Mr. R, but not going to pan out for him. And now, hold up. This is looking good for Wadi and Mr. R. Ever since Cosmos lost that stock, he's just gotten torn up. And yeah. wow, excellent placement of that up air right out of Wadi's grasp. Cosmos is hurting. One forward smash away. Big punish. Oh, good drift away from Cosmos to avoid it. It's caught by the back air, though. Too far, too high a trajectory to be able to try to get that. And try to go for the SD. Yeah, but smart by DeBuzz. He actually went past it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. It. Somehow still finds it. Mr. R evening the set up for his team. I thought he was facing left for a second, but then you know exactly what he was doing too. the second he, like, he faced right for a reason. Yeah, exactly. Like, he knew he was not making that back. Look, I mean, They're all smiling. They all know what just happened. So that's going to be a game three situation for us. What a comeback. I, it's 
it's so crazy to me that like the first game looked like it was in Wadi Mr. R's favor, and that second game looked like it was in Cosmos and Buzz's favor, and then the opposite results happened. Yeah, it's been a pretty wild set yeah. so far, back and forth. But I don't know, man. Game three is the moment of truth. We're right. gonna find out here who's pulling away with this one. And this is, I believe, yeah, it's, uh, oh, this is Loser's Top 20. Yeah, you see that right. little L there, yeah. so. Huh. Man, Loser's going to go home with, like, 17th or 13th, man. Like, Yeah, it's pretty rough. Of course, such really talented teams. Yeah, I said the talent pool here is out of control. We'll pull up that young bracket. You know, bust it out here. We got, and honestly, I can see Cosmos and Buzz wanting, wanting to go back to PS2, but I wouldn't be shocked if they opted to go for a different stage, just for, like, a change of pace, because... We played PS2 the first two stages, and it worked out for them game one, but Wadi and Mr. R definitely felt like they were in control there because Mr. R had plenty of room to run around. Get rid of the platforms. This could be really smart. They often you know, see them hovering over FD a bit. That that will that, severely hurt Krom. Krom loves platforms, and he gets a lot of extensions off of those. Yeah, for sure. Just one of the best characters with his aerials in the game, and yeah. he's got a sword to poke through him with ground and moves too. Man. Able to shark. Yeah, Battlefield certainly sword characters play around. But it looks like they're hovering over BF and uh, Smashville. So, like, you want, want to like close the gap a little bit. It looks like Battlefield's going to be the stage to go to here against the likes of Krom. We'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe they want that close quarterness with Corn, or maybe they're going to be yeah. swapping characters. We still don't. We're going to see. The we could see like, Inkling and Olimar come yeah. out, or either one of them. But no, it's going to no, still be Rosa Corn. Jeez. with to their guns, man. All right, so, wow, okay, Wadi and Mr. R lost to a team named Skirt, who also beat Dark Wizzy and Salem. Okay. Uh, who is Team Skirt? I want to figure this out. <laughs> it might be MK Leo and Mars. I just saw them walking around together. Please give me some details on this team. That's why we, don't, we shouldn't allow team names, man. I just, want, I, just want to see, I just want to see the players. Yeah, we were talking about, yeah, it's Mars and Leo. Yeah, there you go. Not, not a shot. I don't even know if Leo knows what Skirt means, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He probably Skirt. Mar Mars is definitely like teaching him the ways, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's <laughs> turning into a uh, shboy. Oh no! Not, All right. not, not MK Leo. He's too innocent, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you're right. No, maybe not as innocent. Either way. Battlefield game three. Here we go. Okay, so Mister is gonna be able to start this up with an up air. Get some big combo damage off of that. And and honestly, and Buzz actually came into the top twenty four on the loser side. So they they've been just climbing. Yeah, they've been fighting real hard. And this is to get into the top eight, I believe. Oh, yes, it is. So loser gets ninth. Yeah, loser of this set is going to get ninth. That's Ooh. super unfortunate for either of them, of course. Yeah. So much talent between the two of them. Yep. Or between the four of them, really. Yeah, right, yeah. Be more, uh, the more two accurate. teams. The yeah. two teams. But here we go. You know, once again, got those triplats coming up to bat here. We're going to see a little bit of deletion. And, and, and honestly, you're going to see a lot of jabs coming out from Mr. R. He gets so much damage off of that. And this is the classic DeBuzz recovery, right? He likes to try to like poke poke at you from below Battlefield with an up air before going and competing to that up Yeah, it's got that huge disjoint, of course. Let me see a halo. Got a grounded state coming out from Wadi. Catches the up air. Deep breathing on deck. Oh, up B out of nowhere for DeBuzz. I think he just fat fingered yeah, B instead of A. Definitely a miss input coming out from him. He's going to get punished for a good pickup from Wadi. Gonna start tr still trying to get this against Cosmos, but. A little Wadi. bit of rescue. Yeah. Wadi's going to try to interrupt him. Let him play his game. Misses against the sour spot of down air. Horn's still alive. 154% on Cosmos. All right. We've got very bloody fireman characters on the screen right now. Who is going to drop the first stock is the question. And it's going to be Ooh. Cosmos. Wow, that falling up air from Krom. Such a threatening move. Dude, awakening over fates, man. <laughs> I would co-sign that any day of the week, yeah. man. I'll tell you that much. 100%. Here we go. We got 135% on Mr. R trying to find his way down to the ground. You see him getting pressured by both players on that top platform. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Stage control in Red Team's favor. A little bit of miscommunication there. You saw the Corrin getting caught by uh, DeBuzz's little rabbit jab. Go against Mr. R. Crap happening on deck. Ooh. The stare down. Yeah, that stare down. Yeah, and you can drop off the pin pretty early in this game. So I would like to see Cosmos mix some of that in there. But, man, either way, what he's doing right now is working out. And this guy was the best corn in the world in Smash 4 for a reason. Yeah. You see him just doing, you know, playing his strategies, right? Just going for the Sharks uh, up airs from below the platforms. Covers a lot of range. Ooh. Nice pickup coming from Cosmos. Wow, Mr. R down to his last stock already. And, what of course, percent? still a best of three set here. So this could be the end of these guys. Man, I don't even know what percent that was, but the handoffs were immaculate. And yeah. I think we got some DI mix-ups coming in there, too, because, you know, hit with the back horns up air. 
incredibly close game here. Three stocks on both teams. We got uh, Cosmos is pouring and Wadi's uh, being the trainer being the tanks here. Let's see that deep breathing. Hold on to a little bit more percent. Power up all your moves. Make yourself faster. Literally better than Limit, man. Honestly. You can it, have it whenever it, you it want. It is strong. It's just not attached to Cloud, so yeah, right. we let it happen. There's no, there's no gigantic destroying. Okay, just honestly, that's all the buzz is doing. Just shield up smash. And he's just waiting for them to hit his shield. Goes up there, catches him with little scoops. Wow, another cross stage handoff right there. Forward Thanks. smash. There goes Corin. But with all this uh, help, oh, all this no. stuff. Oh no, Mr. R. He was trying to take him down yeah, with 0%. Would have been a genius call. Would have been a genius call. And then taking the stock to follow up from there. And but now because of that call out, you know, they're hurting. Because they got Wadi. Everyone's tight in stocks, but Wadi's super close to dying. Yeah, he bet Wadi's life on the yeah. <laughs> He super honestly did. <laughs> That was a gamble, dude. He threw it all on black. There we go. Jab. Playing a lot of pressure. Gives Wadi time to charge up. Yep. Let him go first, you know, use that sword, clear the path for Wadi. Use the projectile to get rid of the Luma. Big damage against the Buzz. He's going to try to, like, deal damage against Cosmos as he just tries to get back down to the ground. Yeah, all of a sudden, this is looking great for the blue team. Miss inputs the back here. That would have been the stock, maybe, from midstage. Mr. R doing a great job holding down this ledge presence. Wadi, ominous threat in the back, charging up the Sun Salutation. Ooh, wow, he threw him right into the ball. I love that. We go. Everyone's Great at awareness. high percent. Whoever gets this first stock will probably decide this entire set. Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Why he's offstage, Mr. has got to assist him. Accidentally hits his teammate with the vol soccer ball, pushing That's him away. Pretty reliable recovery for Wee Fit. Oh, oh, no, it's going to be Krom going out of there. Wadi, can you get a clean hit? No. Oh, my God. He jabs into up smash. What a ridiculous set. The last two minutes of that game were so all over the place, so back and forth. And at the very end, he was stuck between a rock and a hard place. You got you got a little Luma rapid jabbing you, and then just an up smash coming from Corn from beside, trying to get that shield poke, which he managed to do so. The second Mr. R's stock was deleted, that was.